What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome, <laughs> welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is 6pm and that means the new Futmas content is out. I'm excited to see what EA have done. What EA have done. They've given Fekir and Douglas Costa um, some Futmas cards. There's a new Futmas challenge. Let's see if you have to solve world hunger to complete this one as well. Or if this is going to be a little bit easier. Uh, 74 rated, 70 chemistry. Three rares, five golds, three nations. Nice and easy on that one. Um, and then we've got Douglas Costa, which only requires one squad. Uh, Three-star weak foot, not too great. Five-star skill was real nice. I mean, this this card just typically isn't so great, right? I used his base card um, several times in the early stages of the year. Yes, he's got five-star skill moves, which is super overpowered in this year's game cycle. Yes, he's got that insane pace. Yes, he's got that high agility and high balance. <clears throat> and his ball control and dribbling is fire as well. His passing is also pretty good. The problem with him is that 65 finishing genuinely makes him useless in this year's FIFA. Like, he might as well be silver. Um, you know... Obviously, from outside the box, you're going to be having a little bit more success with him. Good shot power and good long shots. But from inside the box, it's a tough uh, a tough break. So based on Luki Bakio yesterday, I'm half expecting this to be like a 90-rated squad uh, required for that Douglas Costa. It's an 86-rated squad. Only 65 chemistry. Now tell me how Luki Bakio is an 84-rated required three segments with an 84 and two 85s, <clears throat> and Douglas Costa requires an 86. And then we've got Fekir, who's already got an inform. This is not a bad card either. His 84 rated card is good. One of those things, again, um, where it, it, it's, it's a good card, but EA have, have really done their best this year with nearly every single card they've picked for um, objectives or milestones or SBCs. To have something wrong, whether it's like crazy bad weak foot or crazy bad skill moves or, you know, just cards that don't necessarily fit the meta. But Fekir's 84 rated card was a good card in the early stages of the game. And when you look at this card on the face of it, it looks really good. Four star skill moves, which is really nice. Five, eight, high, medium work rates. He's only got three star weak foot, but he's got good shooting, good passing, good dribbling, good physicals and pace. Then you look at his in games and you think to yourself, actually, this isn't a bad card. Um, he's got some nice boosts. Like what I want to do is <clears throat> go and have a look at um, Fekir's boost compared to his 86. So he's been given two pace, three physical, one dribbling, one shooting, one passing, one defending. Um, and it is actually a, a good boost as well. And compared to his base card, four pace, four shooting, five physical. Now, his dribbling is really high tier that with a maestro on him, that's not a bad card. Really good shooting from outside the box. Really good passing. Really good dribbling. Or you could give him a sniper, have a really good shooting from inside the box. Absolutely insane dribbling. Um, not really not really the chem style for me. Maybe a dead eye as well. <clears throat> Again, he's already got great dribbling. A little heavy on agility. But his dribbling in general is great. Uh, his passing is uh, absolutely great. And uh, yeah, this maxes out his shooting. That probably would be the card for me with 87 strength as well. That would probably be the chem style for me. The dead eye gives a, a really, really nice boost to that Fekir card. It just depends, I suppose, on... Just how expensive he is. Um, and uh, if Douglas Costa is an 86, I'd expect probably about the same for Fekir. Maybe an 85 or an 87. What the hell? Who's going to trade in an 87 rated squad for that? I don't even know how much an 87 rated squad is. But we've got an 86 for Douglas Costa, which you could, um, you could make an argument that it's, it's value. <clears throat> I think... Um, as I say, with Costa, let me have a look at his. Um, let me have a look at his his stats with you guys in uh, but bin. So his dribbling is already, as I say, his dribbling is good. His reactions and composure aren't the best. You know, a sniper, his shooting still not great. Dribbling is obviously brilliant. A dead eye, his shooting still not great. Uh, his passing is good. His dribbling is good. His stamina is a bit low. Five star skill moves is nice. Maestro, again, long shots are great. Dribbling is great. It's probably one of the best cards for him. But when we look at how expensive these cards are, we're looking at an 87 rated squad and an 86 rated squad. I just think that that's a little bit crazy. What are we looking at for 87 and 86 rated squads? So let's use Mane as an example. So an 86 rated squad is 135k for an untradable Douglas Costa. You've got to think to yourself, if he was on the market... 
would he be 150k 140k something like that as a tradable card which you could sell and get your coins back for and i think the answer to the question is no he wouldn't he'd probably be somewhere around the 50 maybe 60k mark maybe a little bit boosted in terms of price because he perfect links uh, alexandra and strong links cristiano ronaldo um so he's got some you know some positive links and then an 87 rated squad is coming in at 200,000 coins if anybody pays 200,000 coins for Nabil Fekir, you are out of your goddamn mind. Let me show you the value of the gold cards on the PlayStation. Now, I know <clears throat> we're talking only golds, right? Um, let's have a look at all the gold cards. There you go. Mohamed Salah, 200k. Kevin De Bruyne, 206. Paul Pogba, 228. Sadio Mane, 246. Eden Hazard, 254. Aubameyang's 114, Griezmann is 95, Aguero is 88. Now, this doesn't include some informs and stuff, but look look, look at the price of the goal point cards, right? The price point. Neymar and Mbappe are 700-ish K. If you pay 200K for an untradable Fekir with no packs back, you have lost your mind. If we look at informs and the price points of informs, there's not that many informs worth more than 200K either. Inform De Bruyne, 275, Werner, 200, Ben Yedder, 200, uh, Dries Mertens 185 and then Golan 185. Uh, who else we got here that's real good as like an attacking attacking minded play? You know, Andre Gomez at 114. Like these cards, if we even look at let, let's look at I, I want to look at all cards with no icons. Um, but even if we just look at every card and get let's go to page three and just uh start going down to the cheaper. Yeah, there's, there's so many SBCs that are already expensive and so many cars that are already expensive. But what the, 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 the point is that 200k for an untradable card has to be an outrageous card. Like this man right here, David Villa. He was 210k. He is an unbelievable card. A sniper takes him up to a 93 striker. Uh, a hunter takes him up to a 93 striker with... Brilliant pace, brilliant dribbling, a little low agility and balance. Four-star, four-star, great physicals, good passing for a striker, great shooting. You know, you give him a dead eye, 94 center forward, 94 striker. Like, this is a card you're happy to pay 200k for because he could genuinely be in your team for 100, 200, 300 games all the way through till team of the season if you wanted him to be. This Fekir card, 200k, man. What is in form? Right, the fact that th there's two reasons why he's in form 24k. First of all, because that's about the value of the card. But second of all, because he's a right midfielder, right? If that was a cam, he'd probably be a bit more expensive. Maybe 35, maybe 40, 50k. So the boost that he gets here, that doesn't warrant that many extra coins. You, you should, like this, this Fekir card for, for an SBC. What, what, what people, like, this is what triggers me about what EA are doing. Because people are leading into it, right? Costa is coming in at 145k. Fekir is going to come in at 200k. What triggers me about what EA are doing, the, the fact that people are paying these prices for like that Sadio Mane uh, SBC and that Lionel Messi SBC, is Mane is coming in at 820k. And I think to myself, with what's already on the market as tradable cards, and then what you would get, you know, in terms of the value for the card that you're getting for an untradable card, it has to be representative of what's available. And this feck here is a prime example. For 200,000 coins, you have access to almost all of the cards in the game outside of about, in terms of gold cards, outside of about 8 to 10 cards, right? So you've got to think, is this feck here worth 200k of coins that you just po can't possibly get back? Now, if you went and bought Antoine Griezmann, all of a sudden you're paying 95k. And even if his price crashes a bit, 10, 15, 20%, you could just sell him on and get some coins back. EA are just... Uh, kind of like abusing their power in a regard where they're just throwing out these SBCs. They're, they're giving outrageously ridiculous requirements for people to complete them. And then they're preying on the fear of missing out and the fear of the, oh, what if first owner objectives comes out for people to be like, let me just do one or two. It's just stupid. I know that we have the objectives and I wonder if we have some, uh, some new season objectives as well. But I know we have the objectives for... Um, What's it for? Oh, we've got Thiago Mendes in there. That's interesting. We'll have a look at that in a minute. The Futmas Gathering, right? So you need to play with Futmas cards. Do, do me a favor, guys. Don't get those Futmas cards because you think, oh, I need to do these and what if they release more with Futmas? Don't do it for those. 
do the do the loans even though the loans are still a bit egregious as as far as like recommendations or as far as requirements go i still think the loans will get you your good packs and stuff from here and then we've got Futmas Thiago Mendes score with one league one rival players in rival score with league one players in rivals to earn a Futmas Mendes on loan easily done uh Lions of France win two squad battles matches easily done Score eight goals in you, right, using midfielders and rivals. Easily done. Uh, score and assist using Brazil players in four separate rivals matches. Again, easily done. No win condition. And then the only win condition here is assist at least two goals using through balls in three separate rivals wins. So there's only one con win condition for him. And there's only one win condition for Gabamin as well. Scoring use Ivory Coast players in four separate rivals wins. Um, and you could probably like kind of build your squad and do a couple of these together. So there's two of your Futmas cards already that you can just go and earn. And, you know, I know people don't like to hear it, but I would recommend you guys just go and just go and do the, the you know, just go and drop divisions, man. Like it's not worth playing in, in sweaty, horrible FIFA to get these cards. But there's two of your cards and then just go and get yourself um, just go and get yourself uh, the loan cards, right? Because the 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 price of these SBCs, it, it's it's getting to be a little bit of a joke. There's no new milestones either, um, which is quite sad. So yeah, Douglas Costa's coming in at one forty five, and the Bill Fekir is coming in at two hundred k. That is just with no packs in return, guys. That is outrageous. Of course, there's hundred k packs in store for you all though. If you wanted to get them, we'll open one with coins because I'm an idiot like that. And then there's a daily SBC that looks quite uh. Quite, quite well balanced, quite well priced. Um, the Footmas Challenge uh, looks like it's coming in at about 3 to 4k for a 15k pack. Can't really fault that. That's that's nice, you know. It's always good to get those value daily SBCs in, you know, get get your coins where you can for selling the players uh, for a good profit um, and then get yourself a, a nice pack for really, really cheap. Always nice. Um, but in general, guys, that, that's where we're at. What I want to do uh, just before we go is have a look at Thiago Mendes. Um, and have a look at his Futmas card. And it's not quite on Futbin yet. So let's go and have a look in uh, in concepts here to get Mendes in the concept section. Look at that Konate upgraded. Hell yeah. Um, Mendes. There he is. And concept players on. I just want to have a look at his in-game stats. So he's been boosted by two pace, five shooting, four passing, five physical, four defending and four dribbling. Quite a nice boost. In terms of his in-game stats, his pace is nice. Has his uh, 5'10", high medium. Oof. Uh, three star, four star. Again, three star weak foot again. Um, his physical is really nice. A little weak uh, in general. His dribbling is actually really nice for a CDM. His passing is really clean and his shooting from outside the box is good. Th this isn't a terrible card for a free card. Uh, Gabamin and Mendes both have had, um, you know, I, th I think it's fair to say both have had uh, some nice boosts and, and can be usable. Are they better than other CDMs that you have? Maybe, maybe not. But are they good just to have as a you know a collectible card that you can earn? You get some minor packs back. You could do it relatively simply with no um, no win condition other than one. Well, sorry, one win condition on each set. You know, there, there's there's some positives about here. Um, it's, it's, this is an all right card as as far as a free card goes. Mendez is okay. Um, you know, Bamin is okay. As far as the SBCs go, this is going to be another day. The third, is this the third day? The third day. This is the third day of Futmus where I'm categorically not going to touch these even on my pay to win account. 200,000 coins for this card. Would he be 200k on the market? I don't think he would be. I just don't think he would be. I think he would be well under 100k. And so for that reason, I, I, I can't find any value in this SBC at all. I, I, I think Fakir is terrible value for, for coin. The, di the, the issue is, I know some people will say, this looks like a sick card. I'm going to do him. He fits my squad. I've been using his base card. And as per usual, if you like this card, go and do this card. Don't let my, my opinion on it sway you from doing a card or don't let my opinion upset you because you like it. You are more than entitled to enjoy the card just because, you know, even if I don't. But once again... Three-star weak foot for a centre midfielder. Um, poor reactions, but generally a nice card. Um, there's just there's just better out there on the market for coins that you could buy. 
uh, for 200k and then Douglas Costa very much the same the card has a lot of good about it but too much bad about it as well three star weak foot again not particularly nice poor reactions and composure poor stamina and horrendous finishing um just kind of makes this card again 150k crazy absolutely crazy so that's my opinion on the cards today let me know what you guys think in the comment section below uh thank you as always for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time i'm out peace